Okay, one of the one of the things that working with people when they come here as a student is that, you know, what method do we use to measure that would allow you to measure as accurately as someone who can see? And the, it is also about the only specialized tool that we really use. And it's called a click rule, and for a very good reason, when it um, when you pull it in and out, it makes little clicking noises. It has a piece of threaded rod that is um, 16 threads to the inch, and then it has a spring-loaded detent ball bearing that's behind that little Allen right there. So it drops into the, the edges of the threads that are left on the side, and you, you flatten one side on a milling machine, and then on the other side you leave every eighth thread. So if you want to measure something that's one inch long from the end of the, the tool here to this flat, then becomes one inch. If you want one and three sixteenths, three clicks, you got three sixteenths, quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, one and a half. So that that allows you to measure extremely accurately. This this tool right here, from here to this first flat, the maximum distance is six inches. From this flat to this flat here is an additional six inches, so it'll measure zero to a foot. And then when you want to measure additional additional feet, there's a, a hole on the end and there's a threads on the end of these extensions that are milled at exactly one foot long each. Now you have a, a tool that goes from uh, one foot here, 18 inches here, when you pull it out to here, to two feet. So now, now it's accurate to one foot to two feet. And you can put multiple extensions on the end. It becomes a little bit uh, unruly after about five or six feet. Um, when you start getting the longer measurements, then you start looking for other things. Uh, a four foot uh, long um, level makes a very good device for four feet of your measure. And then we do have we do have some audio output tape measures that aren't quite as accurate as this, but will get you good for doing rough out uh, rough outs uh, on sheet stock, you know, plywood and such. We build a little bit of everything around here. This is a um, solid body guitar body that um, one of our students is making. He uh, glued up a, a cherry, cherry body with two pieces of blood wood uh, run down through the center of it and then we made a, made a uh, plywood template uh, that we hooked on here and then run a uh, router with a, with a bushing guide on the bottom of it to round the outside of it to, to make the shape and then he, he cut and made the uh, template um, using a, a copy of a, another uh, guitar, uh, roughed it out on a piece of foam core, attached the piece of foam core to the piece of plywood and then took it to the bandsaw and then cleaned up his bandsawing with a, a lot, of, lot of sanding. The butterfly table here next to me is one of our students. Uh, she started this maybe four or five months ago. It's her first woodworking project ever. Uh, she's uh, just graduated from high school. She came here. She wants to improve all of her, you know, blindness skills, the computer skills and braille skills and cane travel skills, and then industrial arts is the added bonus that gives people uh, some confidence skills that they may not, you know, possess. One of the things that I try to tell people that I do is I take people, uh, anybody who may be terrified of running power equipment with perfectly good vision and make them comfortable running power tools and power equipment under total occlusion. We make all of our students who have some vision work with uh, sleep shades on so that you don't use any of your vision whatsoever. You learn all non-visual techniques because what, what we find that happens, at least in this aspect of the, of the program, is that if you try to rely on a uh, vision that is less than good, uh, your opportunity to make an error uh, relying on, on poor vision and becomes poor judgment, whereas if you learn how to do the process using no vision whatsoever, then you take out any guesswork as to you know, is it close or not close. So we teach everybody to work under total occlusion. <laughs>